Let's take a look at adding a WLED controller in Xlights. From the Controller tab, we will click the Add Ethernet button. We can name our device. And then under Vendor, we'll select WLED. In my case, I'm using a Quinn LED DIG Quad with an ESP32. We will leave Auto Layout and Auto Size checked. We will leave the Active setting to Active. This allows both Xlights and FPP or X schedule to send pixel data to the controller. We can add our IP address to the device. For the protocol, we will use DDP. It's a little more efficient than E131. And also for WLED, we will want to keep channels numbers unchecked so that when sending data to the controller, it always starts at one like the controller expects. If we go under visualize, we'll see that we have the ports on the controller. In my case, I have two ports hooked up, each of them with one tree and one star. And then we can go ahead and save that and click upload output to send the data to the controller. Now, if we go and open the controller, we can go to config and then LED preferences. You'll see that the length was set for both of the ports. The GPIO pin on the second port is set correctly because it was added new. However, the existing port is not set correctly. So you may need to update that. In my case for the dig quad, the first port is using GPIO 16. And you also see that the color order is set RGB. You may have this set to GRB as that's the default in from there, if we want to test, we can go to the sequencer, create a new sequence. We'll just do an animation. In this case, I already have a group for my trees that are on here. So we'll just drop the effect on. And if we output to lights, we can see that everything is outputting. Let's take this effect and just make a quick 30 second sequence. Render that and save. We can just overwrite our test sequence that I have here. And then to load to the controller, we'll use FPP Connect. In this case, I do have a Raspberry Pi that I use as my player. So what we want to do is make sure that when we load to the Raspberry Pi, upload is checked. And we are setting UDP out to all. And go ahead and upload. Over in FPP now, we will see that we have the test sequence. If we go to channel outputs, on the first tab, we'll see that enable output is checked. And we have the test quad set up to output. If we go back to our status page, we can press play and it will output to the lights. Then we can see on WLED that it's receiving the data from FPP.